One of the problems that people have often said about GEDmatch is that it's difficult to use and to understand, and it looks really dated. And that's because the people who created GEDmatch were focused on making sure that the tools were helpful for genealogy research, and they weren't really so concerned about the look of the website. Well, since that time, GEDmatch was bought by Verigen, and they have gone through and done a cosmetic update of the website, so it looks much better, and there's also some new functionalities and information you can find on the website. Today, let's go through the new GEDmatch website. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when you look at this website is that, hey, it's not the drab gray that I'm used to. There's actually color on there. There's pictures on here. And that is a major positive for people who have been surfing the web for the last 10 years. We like the new modern website. You scroll down, you can, before you even sign in now, click on some different information to help you understand what GEDmatch is, what some of the tools that they offer are as well. First thing I want to point out down at the bottom, for all you GEDmatch users, if you have a problem, if you are needing some help, then please email the support at GEDmatch.com email that you'll find at the bottom of the screen. This is to report problems with some of the tools. There are some different little bugs that people have found and many of those have been corrected, but there's probably still a lot more that needs to be identified as well. If you have you know, questions about your payments or anything like that for tier one, email support and they will get back with you. So going back to the top, there is actually two GEDmatch websites using the same thing. There is this new website and there is the old website and you can sign in to either one. When you click on the login, it asks you, hey, do you want to sign into the new one or do you want to sign into the classic one? Now, I point this out because as you're using the new website, if you come across a tool where some information is missing or there's a bug with it, something's just not working, you can always sign into the classic website, the old website, and be able to use the tools from there that haven't changed with this new design. So I'm going to sign in to the new website. Now, once I've signed into the new website, you'll probably notice that some of the layout looks similar to what it had before. We have the welcome to us. We have the messages that GEDmatch is telling us. And then we get down to our profile, our kits. And on the right hand side, we have the different tools that can be used. But there are some differences with this new website. First off, up in the top left hand corner, we click on this, then there are some of the tools that we want with quick links as well as a link back to the home page. So whenever you're on any of these GEDmap pages and you see those three bars up in the left hand corner, you can easily get back to the home page or you can upload your DNA or get to one of these other tools quickly. In the message right now, but not always, there is a new link to the education.gedmatch.com page where you can actually find some resources about different tools and using GEDmatch. Again, that's education.gedmatch.com. And yeah, you're actually gonna see me in several of these, but it's not just videos from Family History Fanatics. There are other blogs from Jared Smith, from Kitty Cooper, as well as others. And they divided this up into beginner section. They also have an intermediate section. And then they have a couple of advanced sections for some of the more advanced tools. So if you're just starting off in GEDmatch and you're wanting to know where does it begin, then start here in the education, the beginner section. You can watch these, watch these videos, read these blogs, and get an idea of some of the things that you can do with the GEDmatch website. So next, let's go down and take a look at the profile section. Now the profile section has your name, your email address. It also tells you how many people are online on the GEDmatch website right now. If you're doing this in the middle of the night, it might be just a few. If you're doing this during the day, you might have quite a bit. Um, if you are at a genealogy conference where they're teaching a GEDmatch class in a lab and there's 70 or 80 people in the lab, then 
70 or 80 of those people are logged into GEDgeMatch and you might actually have several hundred people on the GEDgeMatch website at that time. If you ever want to edit your profile information, now this is your profile, not your DNA. If you want to edit that, you can always click on the View Edit. There is the option to have your name, to have an alias. If you need to change your email password, then that information is available. If you want to manage any tag groups, this is a place that you can manage those tag groups. And finally, if you want to delete everything on your account, you can go to the profile registration deletion and you can delete everything with one click. You just need to enter your password and click on the authenticate and then you will delete everything. Let's go back to the home page. Back on the home page on the right hand side, we have the tools. The first set is information. And this is, hey, we want to look up a user or we're looking at their terms of service. There's the link to the new education page on that as well. And there is the support request. So instead of emailing, you can always fill out the support request and it's going to send that email to the GEDmatch people as well that they can start troubleshooting whatever your problem is. Now besides the education page, there's also how to use GEDmatch. And in this, there is some video links, there's some blog links, not just stuff that's on the education page, but other stuff as well that can help you understand a little bit more about some of the different ways that you can use GEDmatch and what some of that information means. So all this is available to you in that information box of tools on the right hand side. As we scroll down the page, we have the upload your DNA. Again, this is where you would upload the DNA. This is going to be the same thing from that menu bar, the upload DNA. So you have a couple of different ways that you can quickly get to that when you have a new kit that you want to upload. Now going back over to our profile section, we're going to have our DNA resources. And so this is all of our kits that we have uploaded, as well as any family trees that we have uploaded as well. Now you can mo upload multiple kits on your account, as well as create new kits with some of the tier one tools. So you may just have one kit listed here, you may have dozens and dozens of kits listed here, depending on what you use GEDmatch for. In the free tools, you'll notice the free tools from the old GEDmatch as well. You have your one-to-many, your one-to-one, -one, the XDNA one-to-one, your ad mixture, the people who match both are one of two kits, the DNA file diagnostic utility, are your parents related, 3D chromosome browser, the archaic DNA matches, and ancestor projects. Those are all free tools to anybody who registers on GEDmatch. They don't cost anything. You can use them all the time. If you want to upgrade your membership to a tier one, there will be a link to join tier one. And as you can see right here, there are more tools for tier one users. Some of these tools are enhanced versions of the free tools. And some of these tools are completely separate from the free tools that help do many of our DNA analysis in a different way. Finally, as we go down, we have the family trees. So we can upload a GEDCOM file for our family tree. And we have the tools for GEDCOM searches. Now these tools for GEDCOM searches are free also. So not only do you get the free tools when you sign up, but you also get the GEDCOM tools as well. Another thing you may notice now with each page is there is a way to contact GEDmatch, which goes to their submittal form, their request submittal form. While you are using GEDmatch, again, with the new website, if you come across any errors, any information that's not showing up, something that's not the same as what you remember from the old tools, you can always sign into Classic to check to see if what it was was working right in the Classic and then go back to the new GED match and make sure you submit a trouble ticket for any of those issues. And that's a quick overview of the GED match website. Now, over the next few months, I will be doing updates to many of the videos on how to use some of the tools to show it with the new website. But for right now, a lot of the information is the same. 
the checkboxes might be in different places, the layout might be a little bit different. So go ahead and start using the new GEDmatch website and see how it can help you with your genealogy research. Now, if you'd like to learn about the order that I recommend beginners use tools, then check out this video up here. But if you want to learn something else about DNA, then check out this video down below. Now, if you'd like to learn something, uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna learn.